Hey friends, it's me, Stephanie from the library, and I am back with another great story today starring Max and Ruby, the rabbit brother and sister we all know and love. It says, hello readers. Today we will get that bunny money. Ah, look right here. Do you see what Max is holding? It looks like a little bit of bunny money, maybe a quarter or a dime of bunny money. Now, um, Max needs to buy a birthday present for his grandma's, I think it's for her birthday. Now, he is going to get out his wallet, it's fancy and red, and I'm gonna show you right now how much money Max has. Can you help me count it? Now, this one is one dollar bill, but do you see how much this is worth? On it is the number five. Can you show me five? So this bill that has Ruby on it is worth five dollars. And maybe that's because Ruby's older, so she has more years. So I'm gonna put five dollars. Now each of these other dollar bills is going to be worth one. Can you help me count? So we have five. This is gonna be six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Here, you can put that one over here. Wow. Max and Ruby have fifteen dollars to spend on a present. Let's find out what they decide to buy with their money in Bunny Money by Rosemary Wells. <gasps> Look at all that bunny money. They're so excited to have, do you remember how much they have? 15 whole dollars. Look, that's exactly the amount we have in our wallet. And after the story, um, I'm going to link to some bunny money that you can print off and play with around your house. Max's sister Ruby saved up a wallet full of money for grandma's birthday present. She looks so excited. We are going to buy grandma a music box with skating ballerinas, Max, said Ruby. Get your lucky quarter, we're going shopping. And I don't know if you noticed here in the beginning, I think right here is the music box with the skating ballerinas that Ruby wants to get her grandma. Oh, and look, here comes the bus. Ruby took $1 from her wallet to pay for the bus fare. So there's the wallet. Oh, you know what that means? We need to take $1 out of our wallet. And we give that to the bus driver. Thanks, bus driver. The bus stopped at Rosa Linda's gift shop. In the window was a music box with skating ballerinas. Isn't it beautiful, Max, said Ruby. Thirsty, said Max. You may buy a very, very small lemonade, Max, said Ruby. Ooh. Next door, in Candy's corner window, were hundreds of <gasps> vampire teeth. Max knew Grandma would love a set of teeth with oozing cherry syrup inside for her birthday. You think that Grandma wants vampire teeth with oozing cherry syrup? Uh-oh, he's supposed to be buying a lemonade. So... He bought those instead of the lemonade. Two dollars, please, said Candy. All right, so how much money do we need to take out of our wallet for the vampire teeth with the cherry syrup? We need to take out one and two because the vampire teeth were two dollars. Good. Max wanted to make sure the teeth worked, so he put them in. Oh, they look pretty good. <gasps> oh yes, 
The teeth worked perfectly. Good cherry syrup went everywhere. Ruby had to take Max to the laundromat. Yeah, they were going to have to wash those clothes to get those stains out. Oh, no. Ruby does not look happy. The soap cost one dollar. All right. One dollar for the soap. And guess what? The washing machine costs another dollar. Okay. And the dryer cost another dollar. Uh-oh. Money down the drain, Max, said Ruby. Hungry, said Max. Well, it was lunchtime. Max finished off a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, two coconut cupcakes, and a banana milkshake. Lunch cost four dollars. So that's one, two, three, four. Look, only one five dollar bill left in the wallet. And they haven't gotten Grandma's present yet. Money is running through our fingers, Max, said Ruby. They walked all the way back to Rosalinda's gift shop without spending another penny. And Max is nibbling on the second coconut cupcake. I'd like to buy the music box with the skating ballerina, with the skating ballerinas for Grandma's birthday, Ruby said to Rosalinda. It's a hundred dollars, said Rosalinda. A hundred dollars, said Ruby. The ice skates are made of real gold, Rosalinda explained. Ruby looked in her wallet. The only thing left was a five dollar bill. Here's an idea, said Rosalinda. Here are some blue bird earrings that play, oh, what a beautiful morning. And they are on sale for four dollars and gift wrap is free. We'll take them, said Ruby. Look at those earrings and they play music. Ruby gave Rosalinda the $5 bill for the bluebird earrings and went to pick out wrapping paper. Ruby looks so happy, how thoughtful. $4 for the earrings and $1 change, said Rosalinda. You take care of this dollar, young man, she said to Max. Look at Max's face. So the bluebird earrings were $4. She gave Rosalinda five, and she got $1 in change. All right. Or Max got the $1. I wonder what he'll do with that $1. Max went back to Candy's corner. Glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth were half price. Most people like glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth much better than the oozing cherry kind, said Candy. Max bought a set for one dollar. All right. But oh no. Oh no, Max, said Ruby. You've spent our last dollar. How are we going to pay for the bus ride home? Hmm. I didn't think about this part. Max reached into his pocket. Out came his lucky quarter. Ruby used it for the telephone. Ah, Max's lucky quarter saves the day. Grandma will have to pick us up, said Ruby. I hope she won't be angry. But did Grandma look angry? No. <laughs> look, Grandma was not angry at all. She was so thrilled, she played the musical Bluebird Earrings and wore the vampire teeth all the way home. Oh, wow. She really, really loved her presents. Now, there's an activity here on this page, and I will um, leave a link to the bunny money that is featured on the end pages of this book. It's actually the same bunny money that I had in my wallet. You can print out this bunny money and glue the front part to the back part. And then you can go around and spend your bunny money 
on anything that you like and play with it with your family. All right, friends. I had so much fun reading this book to you. It's one of my favorites. And I will be back with another story soon. Bye, friends.